Hi everyone, I'm Shelby Hartman, Double Blind's co-founder and editor-in-chief, and I'm here to talk to you about Penis Envy Mushrooms. Penis Envy Mushrooms, or PE Mushrooms, are the subject of much legend and lore. Many psychonauts will tell you that they are by far the most potent psychedelic mushrooms. The reality is that up until 2021, we had very little information on the actual potency of different psychedelic mushrooms beyond what citizen scientists were reporting. So, you know, a lot of people would take penis envy mushrooms, they had really intense, profound experiences, and they said, whoa, these babies are strong. But there was no actual data proving the potency of the various strains that people have been taking. In 2021, there was an event called the Psilocybin Cup where um, growers got together from all over. They submitted different batches of psilocybin-containing mushrooms. The scientists there actually measured their potency, and they found that penis envy mushrooms, on average, at least among the mushrooms that were submitted, were stronger than, say, Golden Teachers, which is another strain of psilocybe cubensis that's very popular. That being said, the potency ranges widely among mushrooms of the same strain and of the same species. Even two mushrooms that are growing next to one another can have different potencies. The cap also can have more psilocybin than the stem. So this is just all good information to bear in mind when you are tripping on mushrooms. Let's talk a little bit about the history of penis envy mushrooms. Legend has it that in the early 1970s, iconic ethnobotanist Terence McKenna was in the Amazon rainforest when he encountered a patch of psychedelic mushrooms. At the time, psilocybin was already federally illegal in the United States and in much of the world. Richard Nixon signed the Controlled Substances Act into law. Richard Nixon signed the Controlled Substances Act into law in 1970. But there was a loophole, and there is still a loophole, which is that mushroom spores were not illegal. So. What Terence McKenna did was he took a couple of spore prints from this patch of mushrooms that were growing wild in the Amazon, and he put them in his suitcase, and he flew back with them to his home state of Colorado. I know what you're probably thinking. This patch of mushrooms must have been penis envy mushrooms. Well, that's not exactly how it went down. When McKenna got back to the United States, he gave one of these spore prints to a friend of his, a medical doctor by the name of Stephen Pollock. Pollock began refining the culture by performing isolation on something called agar, uh, making it stronger. And eventually, one day, in one of his, you know, tubs of mushrooms, I don't know if he was growing his mushrooms in tubs, but I'm assuming he was, one little mushroom popped up that looked strange, and it was a mutation. And that was the penis envy mushroom. Today, penis envy mushrooms are one of the most common mushrooms that you'll find on the black market, and also one of the most popular mushrooms for cultivating at home. Um, in general, psilocybe cubensis are popular for cultivating at home, and it's pretty easy to buy uh, spores, psilocybe cubensis spores, online. They'll be shipped to your house with tracking and everything. It's just important to know that as soon as you start growing them, you are doing something that's thoroughly illegal. So what's a penis envy mushroom trip like? Well, again, we really only have what we call citizen science data to rely on here. Unfortunately, most of the data that we're seeing coming out of institutions like Johns Hopkins University, NYU, et cetera, are not using whole psilocybin mushrooms. They're just using synthetic psilocybin, which is psilocybin is one component of psilocybin mushrooms. Psilocybin mushrooms contain many different kinds of alkaloids. People say that a penis envy mushroom trip is much more intense than tripping on different strains of psilocybin mushrooms. Um, they often report more intense visuals. Some people say that they experience wavy visuals more than they do on other types of psilocybin. Some people say that having kind of a profound mystical experience is more accessible to them on penis envy mushrooms. Some people say the experience of being on penis envy mushrooms is more like being on DMT than it is even like being on shrooms. Um, I've done penis envy mushrooms, and I have to say that I, I wouldn't compare them to DMT. I would say that it, to me, it very much felt like a shroom trip, but it was a pretty intense one. 
beginning in the late 1970s with Stephen Pollock, several mycologists and genetic vendors have been playing around with the penis envy strain, which has led to a variety of different types of penis envy. We have albino penis envy, penis envy number six, Texas penis envy, penis envy uncut. And again, I mean, there isn't even very much information, anecdotal information out there about the difference between tripping on different kinds of psilocybin-containing mushrooms, let alone different kinds of penis envy. That said, if you buy penis envy on the black market or you buy a penis envy spore syringe from a website, you're likely to be purchasing either just penis envy or albino penis envy. It's theorized that the stronger effect of penis envy mushrooms is due to the higher concentration of psychotropic alkaloids, as well as the higher percentage of psilocybin, which when metabolized by the body turns into psilocin. Last but not least, let's address the somewhat awkward elephant in the room, which is that these are called penis envy mushrooms. Why is that? Well, there isn't much to it, except for the fact that they look like penises and sometimes large ones. Because there isn't that much information available on the difference between the psilocybin-containing mushrooms, again, we're really relying on citizen scientists. So we would love to hear from you in the comments below if you've ever tripped on penis envy mushrooms or any other kind of psilocybin strain before and notice the difference between them. For more information on different kinds of psilocybin-containing mushrooms, you can check out our website, doubleblindmag.com. We also have courses on how to grow your own mushrooms for beginners and intermediate growers with a team of mycologists who support our growers every step of the way. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out on our website too. Safe travels.